Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of First 30. Today uh, I am playing Ori and the Blind Forest. So now this is a game that obviously a lot of people have already played and it's gotten really good press and people really like it and uh, they're working on a sequel. They announced at E3. Uh, a lot of people will say it's one of the most beautiful games they've ever played. So I'm intrigued uh, and with the Steam sale going on it was on sale so I decided to jump into it as well. So uh, we're going to jump right into this. We're going to start the timer at 30 minutes and we're going to go. Play it on normal, I suppose. Um, I mean, right away you notice this game's incredibly beautiful. Like, it's just, I mean, just really impressive. It reminds me of, like, Vanillaware stuff. Um, so, like, Muramasa and uh, most recently Dragon's Crown. Odin's Fear, stuff like that. So it just, I mean, it's just absolutely beautiful looking game. People keep referring to this as Metroidvania, which is, as a lot of you may already know, like one of my least favorite terms of all time. Uh, which, if it looks like this, I mean, I think it'd be very, very impressive. So I think that was one of the coolest things about me, my favorite style of that game, which was... Uh, oh, I can already move. I'm a big old tub-tub. Uh, one of my favorite things about that style of game was that Super Metroid did a really good job of making it not feel like it was linear. Like just, you know, it had lots of ups and downs in the side-to-side -side levels. Uh, and I thought that was really cool. Uh, this game already doing that. <laughs> I mean, it's just it's just stunningly beautiful to me. It's my favorite thing to look at is like the style of graphics like this. Not quite sure what's going on in the story though. I found a little light forest creature and I squeezed it. Now we're best buds. All right. Okay, so now I'm playing as... I'm running around as a little dude. Much much more fun controlling this one than the big old fat dude. Oh, man, I mean, how can you not just really appreciate this? Oh, hey, what's up? <laughs> so they're setting up that we're best buds. Most likely means one of us is going to die. Because that's how these games work. The music's really nice, too. I mean, it reminds me a lot of, like, a Disney movie. Or a Pixar film, I guess you'd say. Just the way they use a certain type of orchestral music. And it's, uh, it's cool. It's good. Neat little montage here of me building a bridge with my dude. All right. I don't know what else I can more say about the graphics. I mean, it's just beautiful. Very somber tone, too, which isn't a bad thing. Oh, man. So my once beautiful land here is pretty much a dump now. Actually, that's not even true necessarily. It just looks like fall time. But I think that's what they're implying with the lightning strike or whatever that happened. The river's all dried up now. <laughs> that's not supposed to be funny, but you know. Fat people fall down, it's funny. Oh, 
I will say that about game designers. Um, when they come up with something like this, you know, I don't know. I don't know what they're thinking. You know, as as someone who loves telling stories and like trying to think up stories to write, I mean, I'm so always so impressed by what people come up with on their own. You know, and this this was clearly somebody's like masterpiece. You know, and he got to realize it in a game, and I think that's just awesome. Oh, he's having all these memories. Oh, like a spider or a frog or something. That was so cool, the foreground like that. Oh my god, this is like five minutes in and it's already like, it's crushing my feels here. Man. That's a really impressively heavy story to to like uh, kick into gear like in six minutes that's just crazy Man, this is incredibly depressing. I did not need this today. <laughs> Jeez. They're making me make him crawl. It's just, ugh. I mean, it's great storytelling. It just, oh man, right in the, <clears throat> right in the gut. I really hope the audio captures because this music, the way it kicks up, is just awesome and I want you guys to hear that in the video. You move super fast. Love that. Controls are really tight. You can adjust to jump in midair. Oh, okay. <laughs> you get hurt by those? Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Just getting putting the feelers out there, you know. What did that say when it popped up? Did something pop up here. Oh, yeah, okay. Pretty typical platforming type stuff here. Whoop. Can you go in the water? Nope, okay. Jeez. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. Energy cells, okay. So like an energy tank. <laughs> this is very much like Metroid, alright? No problem with that. Alright. I think I got... Uh, well, okay. <laughs> I was like, I understand what I gotta do. I just couldn't get over there to do it. See ya, nerd. Alright. This almost has more of a... Metroid, obviously, style, but there's also a little bit of a... Abe's uh, flashback, Abe's Odyssey sort of vibe to it, where there's like these instant kills, instant death sort of thing. Interesting. Okay, so now I have a an attack. That's really a neat way of doing it. Um, having like a guardian kind of attacking things for me. Alright. Oh goodness. I mean the game Graphically, it's just, man, it's just so cool. And the music playing, it's really setting up the mood. All right, pretty cool map system here. Nice. Oh, damn it. <laughs> All right. Spirit Wells. All right can travel and they juicy up I do like when stuff just floats to me. Really good way of doing a tutorial too is that they put certain blocks in your way until you got the weapon. Like they're doing a really good job of guiding me as a player, you know, guiding me where I need to go. Nice. Keystone, all right. Let's get back up here.
Oh no, it's down there. Probably not very safe, but let's do it. Okay. Get these keystones to open up these doors. Oh, this tells you where to go. Okay. Nope. Oh, dang it. I mean, enemy design's great. Uh, the effects are, are... I mean, when you hit something, you really feel like you're hitting it. And it's just... just uh, I don't know what else to say. It's just a treat. I don't know. I have nothing else to say to how that is, except... Uh, well, all right. Oh. <laughs> I don't think I've said that about a game before. It's just a treat to play. I do like how you can level up kind of whenever you want. Uh, let's see here. Keep looking at things on the map. I think that's a good idea. I'm assuming it's going to give me some sort of power that I'll use later. Yeah, look at that wall jump. I knew because when I fell in here, I couldn't get out. Oh. Oh. So you just grab a wall and then you just keep going? Ow. Man, that's great. <laughs> Whoops, I went to itch my nose and didn't see the... <laughs> didn't see the stupid thing there. That wall jump's awesome. Ooh, these guys are brutal. Why do I feel like I'm going to need this rock? <laughs> All right. Easy enough. Mapstone Fragment. All right. I 
All right, this map's really nice too. All right, didn't go down here before. All right, this is the map stone that I needed. And then you put the fragment in. I think it's gonna give me a map of the area. Oh, that's cool, okay. All right, digging that so far. Well, I need to get back. That's over and down. I, I love games that kind of show you or where you can, you can gauge out where you can go and then you have to find, like say you go to a room like in Metroid and you know that there's a secret there, now you just have to find it. I really like that in a game because then you start, it has exploration, you know, not making everything so hidden that you can't find it. In fact, let's try that out. Let's go over and down. Here in the oh, I bet you it's in the water, which we can't go down yet. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Uh, so we can go up, or we can go up. All right. Well, I love a game that gives you some choices too. Alright, probably need some sort of ability to get through there. Alright. Nice. Alright, well, that shows that I can't go there. Excited for a double jump, though. Always get excited for double jump. Yeah, everything's great. These animations, the sound effects, man, everything. This game is not messing around. Oh, for Christ's sake. Getting hairy. Got no life left. Oh, what's this? Oh, I need one more. Dang it. Oh, it's right here. Ah! There we go. Not too bad. Man, I, I, I'm starting to sound like an idiot right now just talking about how beautiful this game is, but damn it, it is nice. I feel disappointed that I missed out on it when I did. I knew it was a game I wanted, and I've had it in my collection for a long time. For Xbox, I just never really played my Xbox One, so I didn't really think about it. And then <laughs> and then uh, it was on the Steam sale, so I'm like, well, it's easy enough to capture a game on Steam instead of trying to hook up my Xbox, so buy it for 10 bucks, play it.
and they just you know they create a world that's theirs and it's unique and it's really neat and it it has an absolute feeling of like a Disney or Pixar movie and it's just excellent everything about it so far there's not been a disappointing thing to me yet in this game Kuro, you jerk. Right, I'm listening. Okay. So there's three elements. All right. All right, we got, so we, they, they're giving us a quest. Like, we have to go to all three areas, rekindle all three. Hopefully, they let me do it in whatever order I want, which is super cool. Man, this game has some style to it. Let's see, life pickups restore twice as much life. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Oh, whoops. Uh, can I? Oh, okay. <laughs> power we got here. Is this going to be the breakthrough blue walls one, I think? Charge flame. Okay. Nice. Oh. To build back up, okay. So this is a little thing that a lot of people may not have realized in this game, but it's something that I notice in game design is really, 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 really cool. So when you shoot this thing, you can tell it's affecting it, right? So you're shooting it and you're hitting it a bunch, but it's not working. But that means that the power that was going to be uh, an ability to shoot things power. Uh, was going to help you get past that puzzle. I just think that's super cool. So, like, they were almost hinting that the next ability you were going to get to get through those blue things was going to be a shot because your shots were almost damaging it. Like, that's just, that's just really well done. Whoops. Oh, ah. I'm <laughs> sorry, I thought that was, like, a collectible. Whoops. 
All right. And that is it. That is the first 30 minutes of Ori in the Blind Forest. Uh, you have to go buy this game. Like, you just have to. I played some other, um, you know, like, Metroid-style games, and, uh, like, Dead Cells was great. I really like that game for different reasons than I like this one, maybe. But this is absolutely stunning. Like, this game was outstanding. I I'm very, very happy with this game. Now it obviously has been critically acclaimed by many people, so I shouldn't be surprised but damn, it is really, really good. And uh, I'm going to finish this game, absolutely. I'll probably start it over so Jen can watch, because this is the type of game she would just love to to watch me go through, and the story's just kind of right up our alley. But uh, yeah, well, that's, that's fantastic. Uh, that's a good game. Everybody should go buy it. But anyway, thank you as always for listening, and have a great day.